How to give your two cents worth to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. And our idiom today, our financial related idiom today to coincide with the annual challenge is give your two cents worth. Now, this is an idiom that's been around since the 15th century, but it was used and it's been used in the late since the late 1800s in English. It wasn't until the mid 1920s that it came to mean that your opinion wasn't worth very much. I forgot to, to share my two cents when I was starting out. Well, anyway, two cents comes from the British two pence or tuppence, meaning that back then things, a lot of things cost two cents. We're forgetting this was, you know, hundreds of years ago when two cents was the cost of a lot of things. Well, it over time became to mean that, hey, your two cents worth isn't really worth very much. So the value of an opinion became not very valuable because like a holes and other things everybody's got one but that doesn't mean everybody wants to hear it and certainly everybody doesn't want to see it uh, I don't know why I was thinking of that expression today and then I was thinking of all the people that have been jerks in my life this morning uh, and that's not really that valuable to think about all the people that have that have been you know we have had negative interactions with but it did remind me that there were a couple of them that I didn't necessarily learn the lesson from so I needed to remember them today so what does giving your two cents worth mean when it's applied to growing and supersizing our business? A couple of things to me. Number one, who do we listen to? Who do we get or buy advice from? Who do we have as coaches and advisors, mentors, uh, masterminds? Are we making sure that their opinion is what we need right now? Uh, there's a whole lot of discussion around coaches and mentors and things and high ticket coaching programs, group coaching programs. If you're online at all, you've run across literally thousands of people offering these services and products. Uh, some are of great value, some are of not so much value, like anything else in the world. And we need to sort and sift and make sure that we are doing our due diligence as we select and make sure we get the perfect match for us. I'm a huge believer in coaches and mentors and sometimes the fastest way to success is to buy your way into a program that will get you the growth and momentum that you need depending on the stage of your business that you're in uh, so we always want to keep in mind like you know it's always buyer beware we forget in this day and age we think there's so much consumer protection and there is compared to the olden days but we still need to pay attention to what we are buying the other thing that this idiom reminds me of is and I saw an, an article the other day on LinkedIn about this. Somebody was complaining about um, not getting paid soon enough. They start a job and you wait either one or two or four weeks, depending on what the pay cycle is for the company that you work for before you get paid. And my comment was, we always work first and then we get paid for what it is that we provide. That's, that's how it's always been. And that reminds us that we give value first and then we reap the rewards of providing that value after the fact. Well, it's, it's absolutely positively true in our businesses, especially as we're growing and supersizing our businesses. If we're providing a valuable service and products to people and finding the right people to offer those products and services to, and we're giving them value, and then and at least in terms of an education of what our products and services will do for them, they will come to us. Uh, one of my mentors, Russell Brunson, always says, and, and he wasn't definitely the first person that taught me this, but the one that says it the most often, the loudest, I suppose, these days is work for free first. Why? Because that's what he did and it worked for him, right? And if I think of all of the examples of me working for free with no expectation of anything in return, you know, sharing your knowledge, sharing your wisdom, sharing your expertise, giving advice, helping other people in your field or, or about your field. It comes from a sense of abundance that we are able to do that. And when you have that, what you give out returns to you tenfold. It's absolutely true. It's even mentioned in the Bible, I believe, if we were talking about spirituality last month, uh, that what you put out into the world is what you get back. So if you put good into the world, if you put value into the world, you will get value back out. So I would love to know your experience and your uh, thoughts around this. Give your two cents. And what does this mean to you as you're growing and building and supersizing your business? Share in the comments below. And I will be with you tomorrow with another financial related 
idiom for the month of May. Money May. Have a great day and I'll be with you tomorrow.